It's the 11th of July, the day has finally arrived, the hype is over, the iPhone 3G is here. Now as you can see, same design, we've been there, done that with this design, but what's different is it's got this nice piano black finish and it's more curved and I've been told that it's a lot more, it's a lot easier to um, hold in your hand, you won't feel like it's going to slip out, which is quite true when compared to the um, first gen iPhone. Now that's the exterior, there's three things, three main things that I think that you should get excited about with this. First of all, it's 3G technology. Clearly browsing um, and downloading web pages on this network is a lot quicker than say Edge. Um, so obviously download speed is going to be really quick. So let's put that to the test. So this is the speed test. First gen iPhone in my hand here, new um, iPhone 3G. Set to the shiny side of course, now let's go. about the iPhone 3G is the improved GPS. Now, with um, the 3G iPhone, when you go into maps and you're searching for a location, it will actually give you um, a more closer, in-depth look as to your position, whereas the old version didn't really do that. So if we go in and take a look. Reason number three to be excited is the new firmware and the access to the um, App Store. Now, here it is here, we go in, there's, you've got applications such as eBay, instant messaging, so that's going to be really handy. Now I've been told you can actually access the eBay without going onto the um, Wi-Fi. We're kind of in a bad area here, so I can't actually access it at the moment, it's saying not available. So, but rest assured, it is there and you can use it. Other things um, that I want to talk to you about, because the um, software has been improved, we've got improved um, sound quality. And we've also got improved battery life. Now I know battery life is a big bane on a lot of people's lives and a lot of people complain about it. So now we have improved um, battery life, which is brilliant. Um, another big issue for the first gen iPhone was um, the email. It wasn't push email and it um, auto recovered your emails every 15, 30 minutes, whatever. Not really um, that handy for business users and things like that. So we're happy to know that it now has push email. So that's brilliant. Um, other features on the phone include um, the contacts has changed. Now, when you're in your contacts, um, you can search the people using the search up there. I know before, say for example, you had a lot of Sarahs in your phone or something like that, you'd have to scroll through them all trying to find which one you wanted. Whereas now, you can type in the beginning letters of your name and it will locate the person you're trying to find. Improvements, um, photos now have geotagging. Unfortunately, the camera hasn't been improved. It's still a 2 megapixel camera. Um, I've been told that the blurring isn't as bad, so here's a quick demonstration. And unfortunately it still um, doesn't capture video, so no improvements there I'm afraid. Now the mobile me application works really well with the third generation iPhone, and that's your basic server to back up your emails and your calendar and things like that. It's available on a variety of tariffs, I believe it's um, free on the 45 and 75 pound tariffs, so that's the 8 gig, also free on the 75 tariff on the 16 gig as well. I won't go through it all, if you want to check it out go on shinyshiny.tv um, for more information. But there you go, in all its glory, the iPhone um, 3G. Over there!